chair people, let's do a lat pull because I'm gonna do the same thing on the mat with weights. So if you want to go on the floor, please go ahead and bring one or two weights and just wait for me. So right here, shoulders are down and back and we're gonna pull back. See, just like that, we've done this one before, looking straight ahead, abs are tight. You can even contract your glutes and pull. Exhale, inhale, okay? Try to do between 10 and 12 repetitions. I'm so excited for this one. I love it. I do it with you in class. So we're gonna do a bridge. Again, option one, you're gonna use only one weight and grab it like that, okay? Then abs are tight. My lower back is imprinted right here on the mat. I'm gonna inhale above my head, exhale, lift the glutes towards the sky. And I'm gonna slowly come back down, inhale, Again, lower back against the mat, exhale and up, okay? If you want to use two weights, go for it. And same thing. So when you bring your arms above your head, it's easy to arch your back. And I want you to avoid doing that. That's why abs are tight. Exhale, inhale, exhale. Beautiful. Let's go again for eight. Anytime it's too much, do one weight or do it without. Seven, inhale above your head, exhale, nice. Five more, contract your glutes at the top, your butt, in three, in two, last one, good. There we go. And slowly release, put your weights each side. Side plank, good. For side plank, you really need to listen to your shoulders because this is not for everybody right here on the floor. Obviously it's harder. You know I'm gonna give you options and I'm gonna give options as well for the chair. You can keep your knees bent. You can even help yourself by pushing here, okay? I like you to keep your butt up. If you can, lengthen your legs or right from your toes. I know some of you can do it. Try to hold it here for 10, 20, 30 seconds, and then you're gonna switch side. BB sit your shoulder. Okay, you can do it on the wall right here. Bigger base of support, it's easier. Further, you're gonna walk your feet away from the wall. Harder it's gonna be, but make sure you're keeping the shoulder in the pocket. That's your option one. Or you're gonna use the chair right here. Again, for arm, you can put a mat here, but in a cushion, I don't want you to slide and hurt yourself. So you can keep your leg closer. You can use this hand or step away and reach. So we need to bring that hip up towards the sky. Let's go. Breathe. Good. You don't need to lift your arm. That's it. Good. And let's switch it up. So do the same thing that you've done on the other side. So switch side on the mat, switch side on the wall or the chair. Are you ready? Again, choose your option. Lift that leg, that leg, that hip as high as you can. Breathe. It's hurting my elbow here. I should use that. Voila. Hopefully it's gonna be a little bit better. A little. Yeah, there we go. Breathe. Again, you don't need to bring your arm up. Bring that hip as high as you can. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, beautiful. And so we release. Woohoo! Voila. We just did the core workout. Now we're going to stretch together. So let's grab the chair and let's do it. 